Hi, I'm Patrick Novotny, this is my YouTube channel, and I'm doing how-to videos on every single necktie knot known to man, and I'm bringing them to you. So if that's the kind of thing that you're looking for, then please subscribe. Alright, this time I'm going to be doing Eric Glennie's overhand knot. Now, it's a bit of an unusual knot, looks uh, pretty plain Jane, looks sort of like a half Windsor, let's say, but uh, the way you tie it is very unusual. But I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. Let's take a closer look. All right, so this is how we get started with the Eric Lenny overhand knot. Uh, it's not going to use up any or very little material for the overhand knot. We're going to tie it with the big end. So the little ends, uh, it's way past my belly button, but of course not past my belt line. All right, so let's have a closer look at this one. We're going to take the big end. This is the tricky part. We're going to take the big end and we're going to do a loop over your fingers, you're going to hold it with your two fingers throw it over. Now switch over to the other the other fingers to put in that hole and we're going to feed the big end through the back and out the front like that, I'm doing that with my thumb now I'm going to turn, I turned it and there we go, that's the front of my necktie, necktie knot, if it, it's going to go right here. I'm going to tighten that up just a tiny bit, just so I have what I want out front. Now with the little end, I'm going to be tucking it in behind these two loops in my knot. So it's going to feed, that's it, it's just going to feed down in behind that front knot and in behind the big end. Now I want to tighten it up. I'm going to hold the knot with one hand. I want to pull on the big end to tighten it up. And then to cinch it up, I'm going to hold on to the knot and pull the little end. <laughs> 